Wait, hold on. Does this mean you were hiding the six chairman this whole time? Yes, that's what I've been telling you. Do you see now? Actually, I'm pretty damn confused. Well, when you have more money than you know what to do with, social connections come naturally. Even unique connections like Sixth Chairman Daigokun. We met under strictly professional circumstances, of course. He came to me for help after the Kamurocho 3K plan got underway. Did you hide Majima-san and Saijima-san too? Oh, yes. And can I just say, despite their formidable reputations, they were perfect gentlemen each time I spoke with them. I never thought that you, of all people, would end up rescuing them. Life is so random at times. Well, I, I wouldn't say I rescued them. I just lent them a little muscle, that's all. Of course, then I got lost in the fun of the fight. <laughs> the fight of a lifetime. You are a Kawa fan, you. Oh, you really love him, huh? <laughs> With all my soul. And we're meeting up later today. You call it a date, I guess. Oh, how romantic! Well, you'll have to dish about it later. Sure thing. Clear your schedule. I can talk about him for days. I'm sorry to bail on you, Ichi. I know we made our plans first, but... I've known Chairman Hoshino 40 years now. It'd be impolite to turn him down. I get it, boss. Totally get it. When there's a shot at Peking Duck and Heian Tower, you take it. It was kind of silly of me to invite you to a meal in the first place. I know that. Heh. <laughs> Kasuga. I'm not a boss anymore. Just a regular old man. I don't give a damn who I eat with. <laughs> well, is Sotenbori all quiet now with the Yomi Alliance dissolved? People don't know how to react. Not the civilians, and certainly not the Yakuza. The former Yakuza. <laughs> but I guess it's only natural when a hundred-year-old institution just disappears. Any Omi guys rioting or anything? No, even if they did, it wouldn't change anything. Even when they had real strength, they didn't manage to stop us from submitting the papers. And they've only waned since then. Hate to say it, but their reputation's in the toilet. We don't need to dunk their faces in the bowl, too. We'll just let it be. Did you really know it would all happen this way? No, we just did the best we could, and this is how the chips fell. I can't tell the future any more than the next man. Well, you had me fooled. Really seemed like you saw it all coming. <laughs> I'm sure Masato's in a rage right now. <laughs> he must be losing his mind. All his plans hinged on the Omi's support. And I just pulled the rug out from under him. I never could help myself from giving in to his desires if he threw a fit. <laughs> it's been true since he was a toddler. <laughs> I'd always hoped he'd grow out of temper tantrums. <laughs> Some things between a father and son never change. But I can't afford to go easy on him anymore. No? He isn't aware that well before he was governor, the sixth chairman and Watase were considering dissolution. By the time he pressured me to sell out the Tojo clan, all that did was accelerate their plan. <sighs> now Masato knows what growing power tastes like. If I don't stop him before it grows too large for his throat, he'll choke on it. He'll lose everything. Everything he's built. I... I just don't want to see that happen. <clears throat> well... 
I should get going. Boss. Hmm? Earlier, you said you don't have a title anymore. So, what's your plan from here on out? What are you gonna do? The six chairmen and Watase knew that once their factions were gone, many of their men would lose their way with no Yakuza path to follow. That's happening now. So, they want to find some legal means to take in these wandering souls who have nowhere else to go. I'd like to help them with that task. I see. Guess you do have total freedom to do whatever now, huh? Yes. <laughs> and the only thing I'm wondering is how am I going to kill the time? I think this is how every businessman must feel when he retires. <laughs> Can I go back to being in the Arakawa family? Ichi... Are you... It's just... When I was working in your family, it was the happiest time of my life. I felt that way ever since you rescued me at 16. I mean it. But how can you still... After I sent you to prison in Masato's place... For 18 years, after lying to you that it was for the family. Well, I accepted that when I went. And then, after all that you did, I shot you. You only did that to give me a chance to keep living. No. All the chances you needed were inside you. Your own strength kept you alive. The truth is, I've never helped you at all. Not even once. You should hate me for all the things I've done. Why don't you? Fine. If you really want to beat yourself up about it... ...then please let me back in the family with you! <laughs> hey, Ichi. You were born at a soapland called Shangri-La, weren't you? Yeah. So I've been told. It's a hell of a story. One that's never sat well with me. Huh? I dream about it, you know. You dream about it? Yeah. I dream that it's 40 years ago. On that cold New Year's Eve night, Akane is there, and she's about to give birth to her baby. She gives birth in Shangri-La. In the dream, it's Masato who ends up being born in that soap land. Oh, come on. This is embarrassing. Nothing to be embarrassed about. You've got a good heart, and you're doing the best you can. It doesn't matter where you were born. Thank you, sir. I'm curious. Did you ever want to find your parents? Uh, good question. I don't really know. At this point, I've gotten pretty used to not knowing them. You've gone through a lot. Not that I have any right to speak to you about it. Mm -hmm. 
Well, no point in dwelling on a dream. That's all it is, right? I can go the rest of the way from here. See you tomorrow, Ichi. This is Ichiban Kasuga. I like messages, so leave me one. This is Hoshino of the Serio clan. Kasuga, you need to call me as soon as you get this. This morning, they found Arakawa's body in the ocean. After he had dinner with my patriarch last night, Masumi Arakawa left Heian Tower alone. So he must have been shot on his way home. Any idea who did it? I put my money on an Omi loyalist. Pretty sure I'd win that bet, too. Hell, there were shootings in Sotenbori, too. Attempts on Captain Watase and Daigo Dojima. Are they okay? Yeah. Apparently, they had some ex-Tojo legends with them. Can't ask for better bodyguards than that. No kidding. And yeah, that does point to Omi retaliation. Uh-huh. You and your pals should be careful, since you were on the Dissolution's front lines. The Remnants will have a bone to pick with you. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll pass on the advice. I can't believe this shit anymore. The Omi wiped off the face of the earth, all because of the stupid Arakawa family. Idiots blew up their own inheritance. Their betrayal cannot stand, Sawashiro-san. Remember how we used to be sister families with the Tojo clan? We had bases in Kanto and everything. Of course, the only reason we helped Arakawa-san push the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho in the first damn place was so our family would survive too. Because we're sick and tired of the Tojo demanding tribute money just to let us keep land we'd already been living on for years. If that had kept up, we would have been crushed, just like any other family without their own territory in Tokyo. That's why we work with Arakawa in spite of it being disloyal to the Tojo. Exactly. And who's going to keep any of the promises Arakawa made? He promised once he was at the top of the Omi Alliance. He would promote us to the main family. Are we just supposed to accept that won't happen now? Listen, you whiners, quit your belly aching. I won't let the Omi Alliance die. We'll just give it a new name. My Kanto Senpai. 
I know we've caused a real shit show for you. But I promise we'll pay you back in full someday. And for now, all of us are asking your forgiveness. Well, just so you know, it's not like we're asking to cut ties to the Arakawa family. We'd like to keep things friendly, if that's possible. Of course! After all, it was Arakawa who was the brains behind the betrayal. And now that he's gone, I'd say the score is settled. If you need us, our door is wide open for you, second patriarch of the Arakawa family. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you think the score's settled? You backwater scumbags don't deserve to be called Yakuza. Excuse me? You want to repeat that? Sawashiro, you fuck. I can get the Arakawa family back on its feet without you. Easily, in fact. All I have to do is unite the Omi already here in the East. You're way out of line! Arakawa fucked up! His captain should be on his knees right now! <laughs> Stop! What are you doing? You know, guys like you are all bark and no balls when it's wartime. That's the kind of Yakuza I can't fucking stand! Only a few years ago, you were sucking up to the Tojo clan. Then Arakawa changed his colors, and there you were at his feet. Now he's dead, and you think you can pull the senpai card on me? Talk is cheap. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak always fall in line behind the strong. Help me! Time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the weak, and that goes for all of you! I fully intend to start a new chapter for the Yakuza as the Tokyo Omi Alliance. I hope we can count on your support. Senpai. What makes you think you have any right to pull that shit? You haven't known me very long, but I think I've made a pretty strong case here for what I'm capable of. <laughs> Convince me. I'm not the type of Yakuza who's gonna sit on his hands after his patriarch got removed. What's your point? Right now, I don't know if it was you or some other Kansai punk, but I will gut the man who killed him. You have my word on that. There will be no mercy. The fuck are you saying? Every thug out there on the street knows that you killed your boss under Hauke's orders. You think picking a fight with me is your ticket to the big time? You see yourself as the guy on top at the dawn of a new age for the Yakuza. That ain't gonna fly. Sure. I'll give you until I've rounded up all the stragglers in Tokyo to make your move. Until then, keep sucking on the Omi's dried up teats. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? 
Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right, then. Let's go, you little shit. <laughs> 